Okay, upload petty cash. So I'm going to pick up two petty cash receipts. Now this is not for expense reports or for uh, petty cash envelopes, the top sheet. This is actually for uploading the individual receipts that will ultimately within the system get attached to a petty cash envelope. If you have petty cash envelopes, you're going to upload those in here as an expense. This is for PC receipts, the little tiny pieces of shrapnel that a vendor gives you. And it looks something like this. This happens to be from a pizza place. We want to enter in a few things that are super important. This is the default. The default's always the user. This is Derek Rose. You can see he's here. You can pick what other petty cash float or vendors have been assigned on this project. So if you're a clerk or you're a PA in a department and the department head is giving you receipts and throwing them on your desk and saying, get them into an envelope, you would enter them in for the person who the float has been issued to. So if you're a PA in art and you're picking up receipts for the production designer, then you're going to say, you're going to take those receipts and you're gonna put them into Phil Jackson, assuming Phil Jackson is the production designer. You're gonna put it on his float. The vendor, you can leave it blank or you can fill it in. It doesn't really matter if it's, if it's an existing vendor inside the system. We use what's here. This happens to be a version that doesn't have a vendor. This is just uh, Pitfire Pizza. So the difference is the vendor in this list are those we've had W9s uploaded for. The paid to who are vendors who we don't have W9s for and we will never collect the W9 for. We're not gonna collect a W9 for Petty that's $11.12. It's just as stupid. So we just tell us, we just tell accounting who we're paying and, and what the name of the vendor is. It's on the face of the, the receipt. Tell them the, tell them the total, $11.12. We key in the dates. You don't have to, it's not a requirement, but it, what the date is, is uh, we use it to track whether or not these receipts have already been turned in. And the purpose is, in this case, craft service. Someone was out, they were doing craft service. Now, what's gonna happen when we upload or I, I click enter or I save this item, all this data is gonna get attached to this item and it's gonna go onto an envelope where you will have the opportunity, not the opportunity, where the envelope will be built based on paid to who, for what purpose and in what amount. So that is all we do here. There you go, it's entered. So in the example, I just showed how to do the data entry. So what's going to happen? This is a physical form of a petty cash envelope, but if you enter in the receipts, this, the face of this envelope will be created for you. The paid to who, the purpose and the amount and the date all come from the document as you upload it and as you enter it here. So if I don't put the date on this document like I did like in the example here where I skipped it, it's not going to get picked up and it won't show up on the face of the envelope. So I'll have to hand enter that date over here. If I enter the data points of the of the paid to who, what's the amount, what's the purpose, and what's the date, this will all get filled in for you. It's just a click of a button, check, check, check. The envelope gets created. The bottom line total gets put in there and you don't have to think about it. You just got to turn it in and it winds into a uh, into an approval process for whoever's next to approve your petty cash envelope. That's it. That's petty cash entry. Okay, just to put a finer point on that's petty cash entry. This is petty cash receipt entry. Not to be confused with if you have a petty cash envelope or an expense report that has a bunch of detail taped behind it or pasted up on paper and scanned behind it, and you have an actual envelope that needs to get reimbursed, but you haven't actually, you're not creating it digitally. So let's say you have an envelope that looks like this. You put a bunch, a, a bunch of stuff on the inside of the envelope, petty cash receipts that look like this. We all have seen them. And then you have a cover sheet here. Those are expense reports. Those are petty cash envelopes. 
What I'm talking about here are the petty cash receipts that you get individually each and every one of them. You can see here's another one, $7.55, craft service. I'm just gonna key this in and we're done. It goes into the next step, which is we build a petty cash envelope from these receipts.